Hello everyone, I'm Professor Ricardo, and in this video we are going to solve a quantum mechanics problem. So, using the rules of bracket algebra, prove or evaluate the following. Letter A, the trace of xy is equal to the trace of yx, where x and y are operators. B, xy dagger is equal to y dagger x dagger. C, evaluate the exponential of this function, i function of the operator a, in cat bra form, where a is a Hermitian operator whose eigenvalues are known. In letter D, we need to calculate the summation of this product, where psi a prime x prime is equal to this inner product between a prime and x prime. So, letter A first. Let's remind ourselves that this element is a matrix element of the matrix xy. And these are the diagonal elements of this matrix xy. So we have the same index here, the same eigenvalue of, for the cat and the bra. So what is the trace? The trace is the sum of the diagonal elements. So the trace of this matrix xy is going to be the summation over a prime of these diagonal elements. Great. So, we can introduce the identity in between x and y. Why we are going to do that? Because we know the closure property. The closure property says that uh, the summation over a prime of this projection a prime a prime this is equal to the identity so we are going to write that in between x and y this way and then we are going to rewrite this as the two summations over a prime and a two primes and then a prime x a two primes a two primes y a prime and these terms they are matrix elements so they are numbers. We can rearrange this equation and then we are going to write this one first and then this one. And now we can recognize this term a prime a prime and the summation as the identity. So we are going to write it as the summation over a2 prime a2 prime y x a2 primes. And this is the summation of the diagonal elements of the matrix yx. So this is equal to the trace of yx. Then we just proved that the trace of xy is equal to the trace of yx. Letter B, xy dagger is equal to y dagger x dagger. So xy acting on alpha, we can think about that as the product of these two operators xy acting on this cat. But we can also understand this equation as x acting on the resulting cat of y acting on alpha. The dual correspondence of these terms, of this term first, is going to be instead of this cat y alpha, we are going to write the bra, which is bra alpha and the operator y dagger. And this operator on the bra space will be x dagger. So on, on this side we have alpha and the product of y dagger x dagger acting on the bra alpha. And then we can write this since we know that the dual correspondence of xy acting on alpha is the bra alpha and the operator is going to be xy dagger, we can then recognize that xy dagger is equal to y dagger x dagger. But there is another way to do that. Actually, this is a very similar, but uh, I'm going to, to call this resulting cat as the cat beta. And again, we can understand that as x acting on this cat, y alpha, and we are going to call y alpha as a new cat gamma. So this is equal to x acting on gamma. Okay, so in the bra space, 
Instead of the cat beta, we have the bra beta. And instead of this, we do have the bra alpha. And instead of the operator xy, it will be xy dagger, which is something that we would like to evaluate. And since this is equal to x cat gamma, this one is equal to the bra gamma multiplied by the operator x dagger. Okay, but what is the bra gamma? Since the cat gamma is equal to this, the bra gamma is equal to the bra alpha and the operator y dagger acting on it. So the bra gamma is alpha y dagger. And we do have this x dagger acting on it, on it. So as a result, we have the product of y dagger and x dagger. And then we just proved that x y dagger is equal to y dagger x dagger. Letter C. Let's evaluate the exponential of this argument, i times a function of the operator a. And we are going to do that in the cat bra form, where a is a Hermitian operator whose eigenvalues are known. So what is the exponential of i f the operator a? First, let's write the equation of eigenvector eigenvalue of the operator a. So a acting on its basis, for instance, on a prime, will result in a prime, the eigenvalue a prime, multiplied by the eigenvalue eigenvector a prime, and so on for a two primes and for every cat of the base of of the operator a. And then we can write the operator a in the cat bra form as the summation over uh, a prime of the eigenvalue a prime multiplying the projection operator a prime a prime. So now we can calculate a squared acting on a prime, which is equal to a acting on this resulting cat, which is a acting on a prime. We do know how a acts on its own basis, and this is a prime a prime. So now we're going to write it on the left, and then we again have this operator a acting on the cat a prime which results in another a prime, another eigenvalue a prime. This is equal to a prime squared on a prime. Okay, this is very straightforward, but now we can obtain the form of a squared multiplying this summation, this term, uh, to, it, to, to itself. But of course, we need to modify the index on the summation. We're going to rewrite this as two summations, one over a prime and the other on over a two primes. a prime, a two primes, a prime, a prime, a two primes, a two primes. So now you can see this inner product between a prime and a two prime, and this is the Kronecker delta a prime, a two primes, and we know that when they are equal, this is going to be one, and when they are different, this is zero. They, this is an orthonormal basis. So when a2 prime is equal to a prime, this is going to be different to zero, this is going to be one, and then a2 prime is going to be a prime. So we do have a summation over a prime, a prime squared. The remaining terms here will be a prime, a prime. So this is the form of uh, the operator a squared. And we can proceed and we can see that the eigenvalue, eigenvector equation for the operator a to the power of n will result in this eigenvalue a prime to the power of n. And the form of the operator a to the power of n is going to be a summation over a prime of this eigenvalue a prime to the power of n and the projection operator a prime a prime. Okay, now we do have here a function of the operator and we can write the function of, uh, of, of this operator as a series of polynomials such as this term here, a to the power of n. Since this equation shows us that the result is going to be a prime, the eigenvalue a prime to the power of n, then this function, which we can write as a sum of powers of a, the result is going to be the function of the eigenvalue a prime. 
And the form, the cat bra form of this operator is going to be the summation over a prime of this eigenvalue, the function of a prime, times the projection operator, a prime, a prime. For instance, fa a2 primes is going to be this term here applying to a2 primes. So we we have this inner product, a prime, a2 primes. This is a Kronecker delta. And since we have this summation, the result is going to be f of a2 primes, the cat a2 primes, proving that this is correct, this form is correct. Okay, and so on, up to the function of a to the power of m. The result is going to be, the eigenvalue is going to be the function of a prime to the power of m. And the cat bra form of this operator is going to be the summation over a prime of this eigenvalue, function of a prime to the power of n, multiplying this projection operator. But now we do have an exponential. So let's remind ourselves that the exponential of x is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial and so on. And we can write it as the summation from 0 to infinity of x to the power of n over n factorial. So the exponential of i f of the operator a is equal to 1 plus i f of a plus i f of a squared over 2 factorial and so on. Or in the summation form, the summation from 0 to infinity of i f of a to the power of n over n factorial. So we do have this term here, many terms of this form, as we have here. And then the exponential of i f of a acting on a prime will result in the summation from 0 to infinity of this operator acting on a prime. Since we know how the function of, of a to the power of n acts on a prime, the result is going to be the function of a prime to the power of n uh, applying, uh, multiplying a prime. We can understand this as the exponential of i, the function of a prime, multiplying a prime. And what is the form of the exponential of i f a in the cat bra form? So this, it will be the summation over a prime of this eigenvalue, the exponential of i, a function of a prime, multiplied by the projection operator a prime, a prime. Letter D. So, the summation over a prime of this product between these uh, wave functions, this in the form of bracket is the conjugate of a prime, x prime, multiplying the inner product between a prime x two primes. But we are going to write this as the product of x prime a prime. And then, since these are just numbers, we are going to rearrange them and write first x prime a prime and then a prime x prime. And then we can recognize the identity. So, we have here actually x2 primes and then the identity multiplying the cat x prime. And so, since this is the identity, this is equal to x2 prime x prime, this inner product. And this is the Dirac delta x2 prime minus x prime, because x is the position and then is a continuous variable.